Hello and welcome to Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hadef and I'm pleased to bring you the first in our Aesthetic Forge tutorials. So this is going to be a map covering vehicles and this was community submitted by Juggernauty1. So for those of you who are just joining us, what we like to do is not only feature maps but also give you Forge tutorials. So we'll go ahead and put up the tips and tricks that we create but we also take map submissions. So if you have any submissions you'd like to give to us, Go ahead and check the links below. That'll take you to our forums on 343industries.org. And there you'll see a bunch of different submission threads where you can post your maps and also your aesthetic submissions. So we'll look through those. Any cool ones we'll go ahead and feature. So this one, as you can see, is awesome. There's a whole range of different vehicles, cars, trailer trucks, uh, bicycles, all sorts of stuff that you can put in your map for aesthetics. Some of them use pieces that will, you know, they're made out of armor ability, so those will be picked up by players. But if you disable um, the ability for players to pick them up, then they can function as aesthetic pieces. So a lot of these, you know, will be able to be used in certain contexts, and a lot of them are really awesome. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So the f first one that we're going to take a look at is this truck over here. So what I've done is I've deconstructed it, pulled it apart, just so you can see how it's built. Now these are all awesome aesthetic pieces. So this truck right here, the base is going to be a brace tunnel. So I'll go ahead and pull that up. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually hide most of the piece underground. That's how these aesthetic um, pieces work, is that you have to hide most of the forge objects. So this is going to be the main chas uh, chasis, or chassis, however you want to pronounce it, of the car right here. Then for the wheels, what he did is he put gravity lift, so pairs at either end, right there and there. And then what you're going to do is over in the back, you're going to attach a container large, pull that right over. So you're going to stick that right here, and that's going to be the back of this truck. Then for the main sort of connecting part from the main storage area to the front, you're going to have this walkway large. So actually I'll go ahead and pull that up just so you guys can see. It's part of a bigger piece, but all you need is this block right here. And of course, you could use other pieces. Um, this just looks nice aesthetically. He's got a teleporter frame stuck right here to serve as the connection. Now for the main um, compartment where the driver will be, what you're going to want to do is put together a whole variety of pieces. So I've gone ahead and pulled that out for you. So I'm going to move this out just like this, and you can see how this works. So basically, looking from the side, this is what it would look like completed. So you have the nice window here, and I'll go ahead and show you how that's made up. So essentially what the first layer is, is a bridge small, it goes ahead and he puts this right here, <clears throat> followed up by a, a catwalk up piece, or lip, sorry, and that's from the Dominion section, or sorry, not Dominion, that's the ravine specific section, and then he goes ahead and puts a window right here, so therefore that way you get all the aesthetics, um, it looks great, this looks like a door, and then he hides the glass there. Then for the front, what he's got is a catwalk one here. I'll pull that out just so you can see it as well. So that piece is hidden. He just uses the front piece to cover up this area right here. Then for the front window, you know, just a window piece here. And then for the top, he's going to have a block 2 by one flat that's going to go ahead and cover this part up right here. So that all looks great. And then what he did for the side view mirrors is he put these base stripes on either side, hiding them for the most part, you know, right here. So I'll go ahead and put those in. Um, and there you go. So what that does is it creates the whole aesthetic suit. Looks awesome. You can see this has um, side view mirrors from what would be the window. So this is great aesthetic touches. I love it and it's easy to build. It's really not that expensive and you can tweak it to decrease the cost as much as you want. But here's the basic method. So again the chase is here, the body, and then the main um, sort of driving compartment where the driver will be will be here and you can tweak and edit that as much as you want. So now let's go ahead and move along and take a look at the other pieces. So here you can see the motorcycle, the car, and the bike over here. These are all incredibly detailed and I love it. It's unbelievable though. Unbelievable the amount of detail put into these. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bike. So I'm going to go ahead and put pull this out. The rear part is going to have a base terminal and most of these pieces are going to be from the Dominion section. Then he's going to have a folding chair just like this. And over here on the side, what he had was a flag stand on either side, um, just to sort of round this off, make it look nice. Then what you're going to do is, in order to link that to the main part, what he has is a terminal light right here. To link that to the main body, so this comes up right here. Then what he's going to do is a terminal battery is going to be the main part of the front of the car. 
He really smartly used a fuel canister here, which looks great. Changes up the color, adds a bit more flair. So that sticks out right there. Then he's going to go ahead and put a terminal case at, I believe, a 15 degree angle. Sticking up just like this in the front. And then to make the handlebars, these are two base stripes tilted to the side that he put just like this in the front. Put those together. So that'll be your handlebar. And then what he's done is put a flag stand here, two of them, to make the wheels. So that looks great. That's one way to make wheels for these vehicles is use the flag stands or the grav lifts. Then the junction box here actually makes for a nice headlight. So that's one way to make a bike. I think that looks amazing. None of these pieces, you know, as long as you're not doing Dominion and they aren't labeled, will actually end up being, you know, uh, interacting with the players. So players can walk into this, bump into this, they won't pass through it, they won't pick any piece up. So this is a very cool aesthetic piece for urban maps or any sort of map you want to build. Now over here we're going to see an awesome car. Now this is a bit more highly detailed, so I'll go ahead and once again pull it out. So let's go ahead and actually explode it out this way. So on this side what you see is a corner upgrade piece from the barricade section. I'll pull this out here. The floor here has a line upgrade. So that's going to go ahead and make the side. Then what he's done is again flag stands for the wheels on either side. Just two of them to add more width. And I'm going to keep pulling this out just so you can see how he created it. And now uh, you'll probably want to download the map uh, to be able to see exactly how these pieces are built uh, because these are actually very highly detailed. It even has a wire coming through here, which looks awesome, adding even more detail to it. Now let's go ahead and look at the front. So for the, the main part of the car over in the front, this is actually a turret monitor small, and that's a really good use of it just because the part here makes for a great uh, windshield. And then what he did for the front here is put a bunch of terminal lights um, hidden, of course, but that makes a good headlight, or at least front section of the car. And then for additional lighting, he put these juncture box boxes on either side, and I think that looked great. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. He actually put a steering wheel and all sorts of pieces here. So you could look inside the car and see this. So he had the steering wheel there, terminal battery right here for the dashboard. That's an amazing amount of detail for something that you really can't see the inside of until you walk up right next to it. Then, of course, here he has some more wires that were coming along and linking the uh, the wheels and then coming through the middle to form seat belts. Then the main body of the car is going to be this turret monitor large. So you can see he just used the top of it to make a nice, um, clean-looking box. Then as we go towards the back, um, he has an antenna small piece in the center. Um, Maybe as the uh, the motor, he's got oh my god, look at this uh, base monitor here to finish rounding it off, and then he even has um, fuel canisters over on the side, so you can see this is actually powered. Um, wow, exhaust here using the antenna smalls, base stripes here, you know, to make the wheels connecting the wheels. Oh my god, connecting that to the back, that's incredible. And then over here he has more lights, so you're gonna want to download this in Forge to see exactly how it's built, but this will give you an idea. And over here, street cone um, was to allow you, I guess, this is where you refuel your car. So you can see the tremendous amount of detail put into these. You can simplify them as much as you want, but otherwise, guys, this is incredible. Um, moving along, we're going to take a look at the bike. So over here, this is a pretty complex piece, but it looks incredibly detailed. I can't believe he managed to pull this off. I never thought anyone would. So let's take a look at the wheels. Again, flag stands here. And then he uses a lot of wires. So... I'll take a look under and you can see just how many wires he has sticking out. Um, so for the seat back here, he managed to get a vertical section of the wire coming out there. Again, he used different thicknesses, you know, put multiple ones there. And then what he did is he sort of built this frame similar to a bike that comes up, arcs, and comes back down. So you can see me highlighting the various wires just so you can see how this works. Now for the seat, what he did is he actually used terminal wire here with the flat section at the top. And then this is actually a thruster pack that he used for the seat. So as you can see, he used armor abilities. Same for the pedals. This is incre incredible. Thruster pack here, thruster pack on this side for that pedal. And in the middle, this is a jet pack to link both of them. So this is an incredible amount of detail just to create a bike. Um, and the handles up here will be auto sentries. Uh, so this is just 
ridiculous. And if you want to use this as an aesthetic piece, um, watch out, players will be able to pick up these various items here. So what you're going to want to do is um, for players to be able to touch it but not pick up any of the pieces, you're going to want to turn off weapon equipment and weapon, uh, or sorry, equipment pickup. You're going to want to turn that off or you just put this in an area where players can't access it. So that's really cool. Now we're going to go ahead and look at these trailers. So uh, yeah, download to this map for sure. It's incredible the amount of detail. I can only just give you a cursory look at it. Let's go ahead and look inside. So coming inside, you can see what he's done. This is created this intricate, you know, um, dashboard here with the radio, steering wheel, uh, folding chair on top of the space terminal. In the back, he has an armory. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at this one where he's closed it up. So both of these are really awesome. I'd love to see these use an infection. And I'll go ahead and pull this apart really quickly. So the one over here that has no interior is uh, a bridge wall piece on either side. And this is in the ravine um, section. So that's going to be either side of it. Then, you know, he can block it with a door or whatever piece you want. Then what he does is on either end, this is going to be a flat block piece at either side of the trailer. Here he uses a bridge medium. So that's going to be how he forms that. Then the front of this is going to be a block, two by one. Then again, he uses these terminal lights for headlights, uses these Dominion pieces, which is awesome right here for the front. Then he uses a window inclined at the same sort of um, tilt that this wall has to follow it. Then he has, you know, another block to, uh, to go right under the window. And then he goes ahead and he caps off the top with these various bridge pieces, again, following the contours of the... Um, the bridge walls here so that goes ahead and it wraps around the back loops back down and he smacks on another wall so that's the basic principle for these trailers and of course it's awesome because you can get rid of this wall and there you go you have an interior so guys I'm glad I could bring you this tutorial this is awesome I've never seen anything this detailed this really blew my mind for all of you who have been doubting forge um, you know this is really showing how great the community is and the amount of detail that you guys can put forth. So I'm hoping you enjoy this tutorial. Go ahead and download the map. Um, props to the creator. This is a great, great job. Go ahead and download the map. Take a look at it yourself. And if you have your own submissions, go ahead and follow the link below to do so. So thanks, guys. I'm signing out. See ya.